postgraduate student of Ba Yaro University, Kano, has narrated her encounter with officials of the Islamic police, Hizba. The lady told Sarah reporters that Hizba officials barged into her hostel some months ago while she was cooking and arrested her because she had a male guest with her. She said she was taken to a building alongside with the main guests where he saw 30 other students of the institution and some others who were not students. According to her, they were detained for about a day or two within which the ISBA officials conducted HIV and pregnancy tests on them. She alleged that the officers forcibly gave abortion, abortion pills to one of them whose pregnancy test was positive. She further alleged that the officials requested sex in exchange for their freedom, while others were released on pay ranging from 15,000 Naira, 20,000 Naira. She said, I had an encounter with Isba above two months ago. I am currently a master's student at a Barrow University in Kano. Isba officials barged into my room. They met me with a male guest. I was cooking. They knocked and I opened the door. They arrested us both and took us to a building of theirs, held us hostage for a day. They took our phones from us. We met other people there. Many others, about 30 students of the university or more. Why others were non-students? They had arrested some prostitutes too. All of us were held at the same building. While we were there, some funny things happened. The ISBA officials conducted HIV and pregnancy tests for everyone there. Those who tested positive for HIV were taken to the hospital and one person's pregnancy test was positive. She was given a drug to abort the pregnancy without her consent. This happened in the same building where they took us hostage. When we confronted the woman who gave the peace for the abortion because she claimed to be a health worker, the woman said they were doing that because the guests were prostitutes. The girl cried so hard she cried from the pain of the forceful abortion and losing her child. I saw her washed I saw her washed blood. They gave her five hundred naira to buy food. While we were also there, the Isba boys were asking guests there to have sex with them, saying they will release them. Some ladies there slept with them in the building, then let them go. One of the boys physically abused me. He did not rape me because it was in the open, but he was touching sensitive parts of my body. I could, I could only hit his hand. I boldly told them I was not aware that men cannot visit me. I have men in my class, in my church, in my house. Most of the occupants in my house are men. Why would they take me? They asked for a ransom, bail money, from everyone there. I did not pay, though, because my uncle came and took me because I did not pay a dime. But others paid because between 15,000 Naira and 20,000 Naira, I thought our school would come for us. Some Igbo ladies there told me they just lodged in a hotel, two sisters. They came to the market to buy foodstuffs and lodge in the hotel. The Hizba corpse forcefully bashed into their hotel room and took both of them. In fact, just, <laughs> just two ladies. No man but Hizba was like, why should they lodge in the hotel that they are prostitutes? They said, after all, what are hotels meant for? They took people from the streets hotels, hostels, and houses. Officials of Isba in March similarly invaded some off-camps 
hostels at Dan Barry, a small community directly opposite the university's gate. It was learned that the Islamic police broke into the students' room and took them to their office. Despite condemnation from Nigerians, the Isba group has continued its push for an Islamic agenda in the north. The agency established to enforce Sharia law in some parts, in some states in the region, recently bowed hairstyle court, sagging of trousers, playing of music at social events by Dix jockeys and tricycle riders from adoring their vehicles with pictures considered to be uh, a sin against the Islam. Islam. This was in addition to other unusual directives relayed out by the Islamic police. Sorry about that. Isma recently made headlines for shaving a stylish haircut of young men in Kano and arresting people for improper dressing. They are also notorious for destroying truckloads of alcoholic drink. Nigerians have reacted. If this is true, then is so becoming. I don't think even in Southern Arabia, this kind of thing will happen. By the way, is there no VC in that university to or express permission was granted for this invention by power from above? Do you blame them? Blame the school authority. If I am one of the victims, I will sue the school for damages for giving them assets. Any school that lost their authority over the school should be closed. I see this as plain work. As plan work, sorry. So guys, you've all heard it now. This is the latest development of the ISVA police. I'm going to drop it here. Kindly hit the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much for always coming out here. I really do appreciate. Bye for now.